Hello and welcome to some uh, 112 scale model kits from um, Heisei he Goa. Uh, they have actually produced quite a lot including the toilets, uh, different scenery pieces, um, train benches and whatnot and there are many other ones aside from these three but I decided to pick up these three uh, because um, I mean this crane one seems like it's kind of fun to uh, see characters trying to pick things up with a crane and uh, these are uh, just different furniture pieces that I just thought stood out and were pieces that um, I could see myself using in uh, future animation pieces. So we also have a teacher's desk here, a uh, standard folding desk, and that box actually comes with two sets. So that's four, uh, four chairs and two tables. That's pretty good. I opened it up. I thought it was just that, but no, there's actually two sets of that inside. So that was pretty cool. Um, these are all just one sets inside, though. The crane machine is pretty big, and for the price, these are going for sixty-eight Hong Kong dollars, sixty-eight and ninety-eight. That's actually. Uh, pretty good. If you don't mind building something yourself to add to backgrounds and uh, scenery for your figures, it's not a bad deal. Uh, these uh, these build very easily. Uh, the boxes have sort of just standard information on the side, and the instructions are actually on the back of the box. And uh, the instructions are very easy. Uh, these things are very easy to put together uh, because, well, they're very simple pieces. Not like complicated um, Gundam robots or action figures. They're just as it is. And the good news is, once these are built, they actually, uh, for the most part, can fit back into the boxes as single pieces. Now, every single one of these comes with the exact same sheet inside um, that you get here. Is the QR code the same? Uh, yeah, it looks the same. So all of these come with the same sheet inside. There's a QR code on the corner that says, uh, Featured in the video. So, I'm guessing that QR code is some sort of a video instruction, so you can scan that if you want. And, um, yeah, all these come with the same instruction sheets inside Focus. And there's actually English and Japanese on it. Um, the English is so-so. Pretty much telling you how to paint, how to apply stickers and stuff. Which is a little bit odd how they say how to apply stickers, because these are stickers and not decal sheets. And only one of these come with a sticker sheet inside, and which is this one, the crane one comes with a sticker sheet. Let me get more light on that now. And um, let's see what we've got. Now the crane actually comes with um, you know, the actual uh, prizes and stuff. So we actually have two full sets right here of these two different prizes, prize stickers that you can apply to the boxes. There's actually I think they got the blue set, a red set uh, of generic characters. I'm, I don't think they are based on any actual anime and stuff. Uh, you actually got the crane game logos and stuff. And um, a lot of custom ability, customizability here as uh, you have different colors and different things for all the different buttons. And uh, is this a separate sticker? No, their logo is not a separate sticker. I guess you can cut that out and apply it yourself as a sticker if you wanted to. I've not applied any of these stickers because I do want you guys to see these sets before the stickers are applied. So here are the kits as they were, uh, just the plastic pieces. And um, they <laughs> actually at my church we have desk benches and desks like these. Now see that? It's cloth plastic. Um, now you got to remember one thing, these are not Bandai quality model kits. Uh, the way you cut these out, every piece that you cut out, it seems to, uh, every two piece, two or three pieces, one piece, where once you cut it out from the frame, you still have to cut out little snip, little extra bits off the side. And that's, that's a little bit annoying, but it's, it's, it's tolerable. And um, the plastic here is, um, definitely feels cheaper than Bandai. The color is not as nice as Bandai stuff. Now you see these, you can definitely just pass this off. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not good at painting, so I'm not going to bother. But, um, and these look... Okay, but if this was, was a Bandai model kit, it would look even better than this. Um, all the colors seem a bit darker. And if this was a Bandai model kit, these bits definitely won't be that soft. But um, I guess there's an advantage for it being soft, so it won't break as easily. But uh, the Bandai ones tend to be quite solid, uh, even on thin pieces. So, hmm, I don't know. And uh, these are foldable benches that cannot fold. Uh, this track here is non-existent, so you can't actually close this in and fold it up. Which is actually kind of annoying, because if, again, if this was a Bandai model kit, they would keep the feature for you to fold this bench back up. As is, it can just stand there. 
actually if this is also a bandai kit um, these bottom bits would already be a black plastic you're gonna have to plug in but uh, instead here you just have to paint it which I'm actually okay with that I'm just saying that's an observation difference so you got two desks here which are quite good and you have some of these four of these chairs and again you look at these and you think I really want to fold it up and store it away but no it's not gonna fold up in fact uh, these bench these uh, chairs they don't actually feel that sort of secure and I uh, want them to actually hold up the weight of a figure for too long like you're trying to set a figure on these and let me tell you these are supposed to be 112 scale and yet it does not feel like 112 I'll just bring in the figure arts right now it's uh, just because he's right next to me is uh, one of the Amazon figures and well he can sit there okay but um, doesn't feel like 112 like these chairs definitely feel smaller than 112 remember as a figure is smaller than 112 and look how short this desk is I can't even put his feet under there it doesn't work um, if we get in an actual 112 figure like, like a black series figure or something they're definitely not gonna fit they can't even fit this guy in there if I just get the other, let's actually get Black Panther. Now the SH figures Black uh, Marvel or DC stuff, they're bigger than uh, the your usual camera stuff. So, so he's gonna stand there and be like, "Hey, this, this desk is puny. Look, look, how, look how short that desk is compared to the guy. It's like crazy." So let's try and sit Black Panther down on this chair. You just. Like, ugh. Well, I guess you can sit there fine, but it looks hilariously tiny. I guess you can say these are student desks and student chairs, but um, yeah, not quite 12 scale, that 12, 112 scale, guys. So I'm just gonna put these out the way and we can bring in the teacher's desk. Now, this is actually a pretty solid piece, um, it all comes together pretty well, but none of these drawers actually work. Um, none of them move or open. It's just a empty space and then what you can do with this one is this like I guess the stationary cabinet so you can pull it out like that and have everything falling out because of how hard I had to pull and there's actually second set of tabs so you just sort of line it up like that. Look, oh it's open. Seriously, as a model kit you couldn't put a rail there like just have a little plastic bump on each side Instead of doing that, which makes more sense, so you can actually you know, have a sliding effect coming in out. It doesn't have that. Instead, you just got these three tabs that attach on different positions and just plug in. That's ridiculous. Um, it's not exactly hard science or hard model kitting to do that. I could, I could probably literally just add a piece of plastic there or paper or something and have the sliding action done. And why didn't they do that? That's ridiculous. It's stupid. Um, most of this is the same color except for this darker plastic there. I just, again, if this was Bandai or something, all of these drawers would open. This does not. This is purely display piece. Uh, in fact, all of these are purely for display backgrounds and stuff. And if that's going to be a problem, if you think that's kind of crap, then, uh, and I do think that's kind of crap, then yeah, you don't want to get these. But then again, it's not exactly that easy to find that many 112 scale uh, bits like this. So here's the chair that comes with it. So, oh, 112 scale you say? Oh, this is definitely not a student's <laughs> um, table. So, oh, oh, Amazon, sir, um, I forgot my homework and then it's like Amazon slash or something. Yeah, that looks comfortable, right? For, for a figure that's not even 112 scale. Oh, I guess he can fit in there sort of. I take that back, he can fit, kinda, but he's gonna have really back, uh, bad back pain afterwards. Ah, so, uh, no wonder he's extra grumpy lately and slashing people up everywhere. But yeah, <laughs> so that, that sort of fits. Uh, the chair itself, well, I guess it has rotation there. Got the little switches in there, which is nice detail. Um, the wheels, of course, don't move anything, but they're on some round pegs and they stay on okay. So this chair is actually pretty decent. Um, it's very light. Could have done some actual bits of metal in there. Finally, the crane machine, which is the first item I actually picked up out of, this, out of uh, these three. And uh, why is it not open? <laughs> the bottom there is completely hollow. Doesn't even come for a base for you, which 
I'm okay with that because you're not gonna see it, but and the thing feels secure enough. But uh, actually having the extra plate there, it's definitely not a bad thing. It would have really done with it. Um, this door opens up here. In fact, it's a little uh, key bumps there, so you have to paint that into silver if you need to. And uh, it comes with these boxes. Let me just get them on up. Crane out the way. Now the crane actually moves, thank God that that moves, because that would be really crappy if it doesn't. So you got uh, these boxes here, these um, five on one layer and one on top, actually uh, plugged in there with pegs. So you got two sets of these and three just single boxes, which is fine. Uh, they actually come with items. I was expecting it to be just that, but no, having actual items in there is good. And these are just solid pieces and that's fine. And uh, these boxes can actually fit in this little uh, hole where you win the prize and of course you get your hand in there and you can't get it out because <laughs> it's really really small let me just oh, there we go so you got that door right there which is cool so it's sort of functioning in the these buttons that look nice you can also lift the top off very easily to access more of it if you need to and as for this um yeah this is actually a good way for uh, people want to animate this because you remove the top and you can put your hand there and this thing moves along, move it to the side, etc, uh, etc. Et now of course you still, if you want to do the arm extending thing, you still have to open this up. And it does extend, look, see? Comes actually quite a bit down. And then these little transparent claws do close, but um, I guess I have it this way, that'd be easier. They do close, so I say easier. So you can definitely close them up and then the arm goes up and it goes over there and goes over there and then it opens. But uh, this arm here, because it's soft with plastic, it feels actually quite fragile. Oh crap. Uh, I feel like I'm breaking it. It's quite hard to do uh, in front of the view cam. I guess the easy way to animate this is actually remove uh, the, side, the side panels, remove those. Uh, no easy way to do that, but probably remove them so you actually get your hand in there. And this door doesn't close properly. What's wrong with it? Oh, there you go. I think it's just slightly on a slight angle. Let me just put the lid back on top of there. So there you go. And uh, yeah, this is the best piece out of lot because it actually moves, actually functions, actually has doors on it. Um, you, can you imagine if this was just a solid piece completely and people wouldn't like that. This, just like, this is crap, it doesn't work. Uh, but this one does, so this is a good one. So I definitely recommend this. Um, this one feels rough, more like the right scale. Like, oh, there's a Captain America figure box in there, and Black Panther's like, room. I can go and play. Oh, he's gonna have to bend down quite a bit to uh, play with this. So there we go. And then he's just like. Ugh. <laughs> The two hands come on, on the buttons and just like move his head up. And he's like, oh crap, yes, I'm getting the box. Uh, oh no, why does the crane open up after I script the item? It's never gonna get the box. Uh. Actually, for a crane machine, um, this one would never work in real life because the way these things were, they go out. Do, do, do. So it needs to hook on to something like a soft toy, like an ear or a string or something, to actually win an item. Uh, square boxes, unless they have a little strap on them, they're never going to get picked up by these machines. And you can call shenanigans. <laughs> but uh, there's Black Panther trying to win a box. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, look for the price these are. These make pretty decent props and the building is very easy and very fast. You do not need any glue or paint. Uh, how, and they, they look decent enough. However, obviously, if you do paint these up, um, you see Bandai has metallic plastic in model kits. So if you don't paint those, they still look relatively metallic, and that's good. But uh, every metal area on these, uh, for this brand, is just a grey plastic, so it's not actually metallic or shiny. So if you don't paint these, these definitely look a bit funny, a bit weird. And um, fortunately, since these are furniture, they should be quite easy to paint. Just follow the plastic and just slap the paint all over it, and it should look fine. 
As for the movement, like I said, they're nowhere near as good as what Bandai I'm used to with Bandai model kits. So these these tables and chairs are definitely a disappointment. They still look good as a prop, and I'm still like very nicely surprised that there were two sets of these tables in the box. But I, again, I do wish that they had some sort of articulation going on to fold them back up. As of what they are, they, they're just solid pieces. So they definitely have to go into the boxes uh, to keep them safe from breaking and snapping. Because, um, you yeah, know, look at this. I can just drop something on this and it'll probably break. Like, ooh. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to kill it. So, creating one is excellent. And if you definitely want a piece for the background of your characters, definitely consider picking this one out. Especially if you're Asian, because this is a really Asian thing currently still. And um, your dates and stuff. And uh, the, the chairs and desk ones, maybe think twice before picking them up. Subscribe to just and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. And I'm going to go paint these and probably attach a little bit of the back of this video after they've been uh, painted. First up with this one I've only pretty much just applied stickers, um, some warning signs down there, they're coloured in some black uh, for the hole right there and some little bits of silver bits for these uh, key lock areas and buttons. That's a stuck sticker there. <laughs> a little black dot there's like oh it's the power cable. <coughs> sticker there and of course these sticker sheets at the top as well as the uh, control panel. And uh, I didn't bother sticking any prices or the posters inside because uh, I'm just going to put inserts in there for whatever scene I needed to. As well as the two seat sheets of stickers on the little uh, crane um, there. So not really too much paint job there. Um, even less at the details on this, just silver lining on the three sort of drawer areas. And painting the legs, the feet black, as well as adding a little bit of silver on the uh, key hole on, th on that and the most paint is this these ones all of these chairs have uh, silver just sort of covered all over so now they actually look like metal chairs it's for these so these all look metally and stuff in the back as well just filling up the uh, if, you, if you note that the, uh, the three dots on the back is where the brown plastic plugs into this uh, gray plastic frame so I painted the back there so you can't see the brown dots anymore so it's all in silver Oops, almost forgot this little chair here. Uh, this one we got a little bit more patient because uh, tiny little silver bits on each wheel, as well as um, I painted the back of this silver, as well as a uh, little silver there on the uh, leg. Oops. And then that, that falls out. Uh, I think this one does need a, just a tad bit of glue to make it just a little bit more secure. That's this. There we go. And finally, the tables just have silver painted all over the bottom there to make them all look shiny and metal. Um, I actually need to add a little bit more black there. Yeah, quickly done with some Gundam paint, a little back black line for the, uh, where the track is supposed to be, if these tables were actually bendable, as well as little black feet, rubbery feet at the bottom. So, there are. These things are all painted nicely now. So, uh, yeah, this still look decent enough even without the paint but they look just a tad bit better and you'll definitely be seeing these uh, showing up again soon in certain photo shoots or animations and whatnot so look forward to them uh, tables <laughs> subscribe to just and comment below and of course take care and have a nice day i'll see you guys soon and bye bye now